Captain Coder here, and in this guide, we're going to talk about how to turn our one screen platformer into a side scrolling platformer. This is part of our 2D platformer project, and if you've missed the previous videos, that's okay. You can find them in the description below, or you can hop right into this part using the provided Unity package. And if you'd like to be notified when the next part is out, be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. Before we hop in, I want to remind you that you can ask your questions, share your projects, and be part of the Captain's Crew on Discord, or catch me live at captaincoder.live, where I create fun projects like this, chat with the crew, and drink way too much bean water. All right, let's hop in. We now have a platformer that we can jump, we can slide with ease, we don't stick to walls, and we can run off the screen. We run off the screen here and we're, we're, we disappear into the void. If we look at our scene, we have a much bigger level, but our game moves off. What we wanna do in most platformers, we have some sort of side scrolling or up down scrolling. We wanna add a script that will make it so that our camera, you may have noticed we have a camera in our scene here. Our camera shows what we are able to see. It'd be great to have that camera follow our player. What we're going to do next is we're going to introduce a new script that will allow our camera to follow our player. There's many ways to do this. There's libraries like Cinemachine. There's all sorts of fancy ways we could do this. We're going to stick with simplicity here to start out. And as things go on, we can increase that complexity while managing it. Let's start with a simple script. I'm going to come over to my scripts folder. Inside, I'm going to create a new script. I right click create C sharp script. I'm going to call this camera follower. The idea here is that as our player moves, our player moves, it's transform updates here. It's X and Y position change. I want my camera's X position to follow our player. Anytime our player's X moves, our camera moves with it. To make this work, we need to add in a member variable, a field that references what we want to follow. In this case, I'm going to add in a private transform. We need to know which transform we're following, and it's going to be our target. We need to serialize this field so we can access it in the inspector. And then finally, each frame, when we update, we want to adjust our transform to match the position of our target's transform. Let's do this now. We can do transform to access our transform dot position. And we can set equal to our target dot position. Think about this for a second. There's a bug here. Before we run it, what's the bug? Let's see if we can fix this here. Remember, we only want to follow the X position of our player. If we follow the entire position, it's going to change both the X, Y, and Z, and then our camera won't be able to see anything. Let's check that out real quick. We're back in Unity here. I go to my main camera, and I have to add this component in. I can do this by clicking the Add Component. I can do this by dragging my camera follower onto my camera or in my scene, I can add it directly to my scene here. We have to set the actual target. I'm gonna drag my player from the hierarchy into my camera follower, and then I'm gonna click play. Notice as soon as my game starts up, I end up with this blank screen. What's going on? Let me look at my scene. Let's pull these side by side so we can see what's going on. As I move my player, my scene, my camera moves, but the issue is that my camera's Z position is now zero. So it's the same position as my player. If I switch from 2D to 3D mode, we'll notice my camera lines up exactly with it. It has this square projection into the distance. This is called an orthographic projection, and we see everything that is behind it further down. When our camera lines up directly with our player, we can't see it. So if I disable my camera follower, I click this little checkbox here, and I move my camera on this Z axis further out, you'll notice as soon as I get a little bit away, I see it. When we match the Z position of our transforms, it lines up directly with the player and we can no longer see it. I'm back in my code here and we're going to resolve this by only modifying the X position. 
it would be great if I could do position.x here is equal to the target's position.x. Unfortunately, we're not able to modify this position directly. Instead, we need to create a new vector here. In this case, vector three, because we want x, y, and z. And we're gonna name it position. We're gonna assign it to be the original transform position. And then we're going to modify that X here. Position dot X is equal to our target position dot X. And finally, we update the entire position here to match the new position that we've defined. Now I'm back in Unity, I'm running. And as I move, my player is running along with it. Fantastic. Now it's your turn. Go ahead. Add a camera follower script to your game, attach it to your main camera, and update the camera's position to follow your player. Once you're done, I'll see you on the other side. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this guide useful. That said, the camera follow in this guide is incredibly simple. This is by design. However, you might be interested in implementing a camera that has additional features and I want to know what they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what features you're planning to add to your game. And if you would like to be notified when the next video is out to see what features I add, be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. As always, keep coding, keep growing, be the best you you can be, and you're welcome back anytime. Bye bye